everyone. Okay, so today I'm doing my question and answer video. Um, I asked in a few Friday favorites and flops videos back, I asked if you guys would be interested in seeing a um, question and answer. If you guys had some questions, like to get to know me better, I don't know. But you guys actually had some questions, so thank you so much for caring. <laughs> and if you're watching this video, thanks for caring enough to be more interested in me. So um, I'm just going to kind of scroll through the comments and read them one by one and um, so here we go okay the first question is from Lori Bell and she said okay I thought of a question I don't know I know you don't drive a minivan because I don't drive a minivan but I do have three children so she said what do you drive it's hard to pull three little ones in the car so I'm curious I drive a Honda Pilot and I really like it and everyone's trying to convince me to get a bigger car to pull my kids in but we all fit we drive like long distances and it works out and we can fit everything in it so and the car is paid for so that's what I like about that um do I want a minivan no now let me tell you why I have a theory and everyone who knows me knows my theory is that when you're when you drive a minivan everyone just assumes you're a mom so like nobody looks at you so I'm like oh I could drive down the street but naked and no one would even look in my window because they wouldn't care because they'd be like she's a mom not that I really care but sometimes you want to be seen you know what I'm saying like I don't put all this on for myself like I want to be seen I don't want to be invisible so I just think that when you drive a minivan you're kind of invisible sorry if you drive a minivan that's just like my joking theory okay sassy heather 11 asks I'd like to know how you met your hu husband um, I had a lot of questions about my husband. We've been married nine years, almost nine years, and we met um, working at a summer camp together. I w decided to go because I wanted to help out. Like It was a camp where, for me, this was what it was. My major was in special education, and so I wanted to, it was like to help incorporate special needs kids into general ed population. Um, I had gone to this camp before but they do have that unique program as part of the camp um, and so I wanted to be a counselor for the special ed kids. My husband had no experience in that but he on a whim decided to come to this camp and help out for the summer. He didn't even know if he was going to have a job so anyways we met at a summer camp and he decided he was going to work with the special ed kids and there was just like something about a man reading a little Dr. Seuss book to a kid that I fell in love. So um, we met there and we dated long distance for years before we got married and that's the story of how I met my husband. So I'm originally from Michigan, he's from Texas, so um, I moved here when I was finished finishing up with college because I majored in special education and general education so I had to get um, do like my student teachings in both. So anyways, when I was finished with that, I ended up moving to Texas because I actually preferred to live in Texas and moving a Texan out of Texas is like asking a fish to move out of water. So that's why I did not ask him to live in Michigan. Okay, so I have a question from Harlow Glam. What does your husband think of your love for makeup? <sighs> he understands that... So when I, I used to be a really thin fit person. Um, when I had my twins, I gained a lot of weight. And um, for me, I've always like been interested in makeup and beauty and always like been a kind of a consumer in that. I've always had like so many beauty products and so many whatever, but as far as like actual makeup, I, I had a pretty normal size functioning collection two years ago before I started this whole business. He's really supportive of me because he knows that like since I did gain that weight, what I can do is like concentrate on my hair and my face or whatever while my body is not working out for me. So I don't really splurge on clothes very often. I don't like get Starbucks. I don't you know, have any like bad habits like drinking and smoking. I usually don't go out and drink a whole lot and spend a whole lot of money on alcohol. So, um, makeup is my thing. It's like the thing that I splurge on. I don't buy shoes. I, do, I just don't have, you know, a hobby or a habit. So makeup is my hobby and my habit. 
And so I think that he's supportive because he sees how happy it makes me, especially be doing these videos and sharing and that people are coming to me and talking to me about makeup. So he sees that I'm happy, supportive, but you know, he prefers me with no makeup on anyways. So I don't know. It's like all for nothing. So somebody asked me, Kimberly asked me if I had any tattoos. No, I don't have any tattoos. I really don't even have plans to get any. Um, I can't commit to anything like long enough that could be on my body and girls with the way my skin has stretched and pulled and moved and everything. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to know what a tattoo would look like if it were on my body pre-babies and then it was still on my body. So, oh, I don't know if I said like, let me preface this with, I'm almost 31, I'll be 31 in May, um, and I have three kids. And one of them is a set, I have a set, set of twins, the older two, and they're nearing school age. And then I have a baby who's almost two. She's not a baby anymore, but that's my baby. So, and they're all girls. So that is my whole thing. People, like when I say I have kids or something, I think a lot of people think I like, sound younger. I, I don't know. I'm thanking you if you guys think I look younger. So um, a lot of people are like, oh, you're, th you're in your 30s? Like I thought you were 20. Keep it coming, girls, because this little mama needs to hear it because <laughs> I feel like I'm getting older, and even though 31 is not old at all, I just, like, you know, before when people would tell me I would look young, I'd be like, yeah, 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 okay. Now when people tell me, I'm like, really? Thanks. So I, I don't mind it. So Tammy asked, how long have we been married? My husband and I have been married nine. Do we plan to have more? I would love to have more. I wanted to have twins again, <laughs> but no. I don't think we're going to have any more, um, but I really do. I would I would welcome it. I would love it. I think children are such a blessing, and I have had like a fairly easy time. I, I feel like I look, I have the hard days, and like I feel like there are days that it's hard to be a mom, but then the days that it's like it when it's good, it is just so good. I love the seeing my twin like my twin girls just be like friends and playing together and I just I adore having twins and you know sometimes it kind of drives me crazy when people are like oh bless your heart and I'm like yes it is blessed like people act like oh having twins is so hard it's so terrible whatever it's really not that bad. Like, it's hard, but you don't know because motherhood is hard. So, you know, having two at once, it's like, yeah, it's hard, but, um, you know, everyone is having a hard time when they're a first-time mom anyways just because you don't know what you're doing. So you're trying to learn. And um, luckily, you know, forgiving and you can mess up <laughs> and rectify it before you've really jacked up and from Jennifer and I love this question what, um, would love to know what youtubers you get excited when they upload a video and what are your top three MAC lipsticks okay my top three MAC lipsticks I'm just gonna do that off the bat mmm I really want to say like Angel and Snob are in one little category like for pinks and then I really love impassioned and I like Party Parrot. I just love those colors. I, I think they're gorgeous and those are like some of my top colors. Oh gosh, but I feel like I'm missing, like to pick three feels like you're you're breaking my heart here. So I don't know, but I have a lot of favorites, um, but those are like right off the bat, probably my most worn. Um, and what YouTubers do I get excited to see videos from? I, I seriously watch so many videos. You don't have to have a ton of subscribers for me to watch you. If people leave me video responses, I watch them. If people say, hey, check out my channel, I check it out. Um, I don't necessarily always subscribe to the people that are saying, hey, check out my channel because if you're not commenting on anything else on my video but just telling me to check out your channel, then I don't know. That kind of is weird, but I always check out people's channels and I watch a ton of 
people. My favorite people to watch, probably I get the most excited. Well, I love to watch, I like right away I'll watch like Melissa, Mel and PHS, Cassie, Shades Cassie, um, Sarah, Beauty Buzz Hub, uh, who do I watch like when they post it? Um, Elise, the Bubblegum Princess, I always like watch whatever she does. Allison, um, uh, and Marie X, um, Miss Glamorazzi, it's Blondie or Casey Holmes. Um, who else? I know I'm forgetting people. When they post a video, who do I watch? Uh, Jessica Klassen, I really like her videos. Oh, Jacqueline Hill, obviously. I'm like obsessed with her. Um, by Allie, love her. Crystal, um, Crystal is 007. Flower Bomb 31 like these are all people like when they post videos I'm like I have to watch you immediately so those are just like I can't even I I the I think the beauty box 12 11 that might be one I really like her videos I think her name is Amanda anyway there's a ton of people I I swear I watch so many videos but like I will like just get so excited to watch you know a lot of people's videos and I feel like there are so many good youtubers I know it's really hard to get your name in and so um, yeah if you make videos and you want me to check out your channel I definitely will always do it leave me video responses to like any video because that's sometimes how I see it I'm like oh look at her she makes videos so okay someone asked how long I had been doing YouTube I started actually um, I think it was April 28th um, a year ago so I'm coming up on a year anniversary and yeah I think that's when I uploaded my first video and yeah I I'm excited that I've been doing videos a year I can't believe it I've loved every second of it so um, yeah it's just been really really fun and I feel so blessed to be where I am I can't believe people actually watch me I love it I love the interaction and like just the comments it's just been such a blessing I decided to put myself out there because I had gained a bunch of weight like I told you guys in my pregnancies and I was really self-conscious about it and I was I'm trying constantly to lose weight um, I have an ultimate goal that I'm wanting to get to because I am going to have um, a tummy tuck I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna have a tummy tuck. If you guys are interested in hearing more about that process when it happens, I will be more than happy to share some stuff with you because um, it's definitely not a vain, like not because I'm vain, it's like a serious procedure that needs to happen because my twins like ruined my stomach. So there's nothing working out can do about that. But you have to get to your ultimate goal weight before you do it. So I will be doing that. Oh crap. Um, so I decided to put myself out there because I was like, you know what? I have so much to say and I'm just hiding because I'm scared people are going to say like, oh, you're fat. Why would you be doing YouTube or da da da? And I'm just thinking, this is who I am. This is what I look like now. And if I can help somebody like maybe in my process of losing weight and just help anybody then that's why I'm gonna do it so I decided to take a risk and just put myself out there and I had been watching Cassie chick from Shades Cassie and she she and I had kind of become friends and I just said like hey I think I'm gonna make a YouTube channel and she really encouraged me to do it and I just thought like an everyday person like um, and also I had watched Melissa Mel and PHS and I just thought like hey we're everyday moms like I'm just a mom I'm just a girl I'm a wife I'm a friend I'm a whatever and a bunch of my friends always asking me makeup questions so they were encouraging too so I just decided to go my taste in cosmetics have changed I feel like I used to be solely committed to Mac and I wouldn't look outside of that spectrum but um, and that was like my highest end brand at that point uh, I had dabbled in a few other little things but as far as makeup went but I have really been opened up to different brands and Urban Decay and that kind of thing like um and you know YSL and Bobbi Brown and just all the different brands that I never would have looked at before I started YouTube videos and also I feel like it, it has opened up to drugstore stuff like what's good and bad what's hot in the drugstore so um that's kind of changed ask me how do you manage to find time for yourself how do you ba find balance do you have any help with the kids as in myself and I. <laughs> um, uh, you don't have to answer this. Anyways, 
Okay, um, how do I find balance? I try and film my videos film either when they're napping or on the one I have one day a week where I have like a four hour period that no one is home so I try and film like a ton of videos then or my, when my kids are napping I will just hop on the camera and film a video also my husband has a very flexible schedule and he's home often to watch the children so I don't do any YouTube work during the day like when my kids are awake because I just feel like that's my time with them I need to they would be harping on me anyways it would be pointless like I need to spend time with them and I found I film those days and then I edit the videos at night like when everyone's asleep I'm up super super late editing the videos and uploading them so anyways um, I think that's the balance. Um, it's it's crazy with three kids, but you know I just keep going. I try and find enough energy, drink lots of coffee, and uh, the only thing I when you say like find time for yourself, like I go out on my mom's nights and stuff, and I'm part of a twin group, and so that's kind of how I find time like doing that. But like the things for myself are YouTube. Like that's what I do for myself. I watch videos, I film the videos, I buy the makeup, and that's kind of like for myself. So. Um, I don't really need like a whole bunch of like alone time. I'm just not one of those people. I prefer to be with other people. So I get like a whole lot of alone time. But uh, my husband and I try and, you know, we have like really great communication. So we are constantly in communication and talking to each other. And we talk all day long, even when he's at work. So um, anyway, that's kind of, I don't know if I answered that. Oh, and as far as help, no, I don't have help. <laughs> Like a nanny or a babysitter or anything like that? No. Mm -mm. Uh, I, I mean, my husband does have family in the area, and, and they will help if we, like, need some date nights and stuff, but no. Nope. did I do before YouTube? I was um, a teacher for children with autism before I had my kids, and then I had my kids, and I've been a stay-at-home mom, so I haven't done anything. <laughs> I've been doing a mom thing, so, and that's a job. Everyone who is a stay-at-home mom, I hate it when people act like that's not a job because that's a serious job. Okay, it takes a lot of work and you're never off. For real, you're never off. Can you see the bags under my eyes? Do I budget for makeup? Yes. Do I go over budget? Yeah, I keep track of things expiring. Not very well. Um, I am allergic to some stuff in lipsticks that when they go when they go old and um, if I put a lipstick on and it burns my lips I know that it, I, I can't wear it anymore. It ten doesn't tend to happen. It has never happened with a MAC lipstick. Um, it's only really drugstore lipsticks and I'm talking like $1.99 ones. So uh, that's kind of how I keep track of that. As far as foundations, I try not to buy a ton of foundations. I really only have a couple of working foundations that I switch between. That way, I know I can use them up before they expire. Um, as far as facial products, like lotions and that kinds of things, I think that I just keep, I try and use up stuff before I open another thing. Um, even though I do have a, a couple of working stuff like that, um, I just, a lot of stuff, ha a lot of things have an expiration date on the back, so I kind of remember when I certain stuff and just keep track that way. If we had one makeup item I could buy, what would it be and why? Probably like an eyeliner. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like you can like pinch your cheeks and make them blush. But if you like darken up your lash line and you can like smudge that out, you can really have a good look. So an eyeliner. The restaurant is... I love every restaurant. <laughs> Seriously. I like all food. So I really don't have a favorite restaurant. I like everything to eat. Can you not tell? Favorite thing I enjoy doing with my children, everything. I enjoy doing everything with those those kids. They are hilarious. I adore them. My favorite thing to do with them is kiss their faces off. No, um, probably just like I like to. I like taking them places and seeing like how excited they get about it and um, just. One of my favorite things is even when I'm like picking them up and they're we're driving home and I'm like, what'd you do today? And they're just like telling me all this stuff of what they did today or like after church. I'm like, what did you learn today? And they just explain everything. And I just, I love the dynamics between the two, the two girls, the twins especially, and then just watching them with their younger sister 
um, just the way it all is. So I love doing everything with my kids. Someone asked if my kids ever get into my makeup. No, they don't because I would, they would lose their head. Seriously. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I've kind of told them like, oh, this is mommy's makeup. Like, don't touch it. Um, I let them like put on a little bit of makeup here and there. Like if they're just watching me, I'll like run the brush across their cheek and, you know, put a little lip gloss on them and they think they're awesome. So, um, but as far as like getting into it, no, they don't touch it. So thank goodness I would die. That's it. Okay. I think I answered all the questions. Thank you so much to everyone for asking the questions. Um, I hope this was like informative or somewhat interesting. I don't know if you guys even cared and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.